In this uh, segment of the videos, we're going to be installing the plates that are going to be mounted on the aft end of the fuselage. This one still has the white plastic uh, protective covering on it. I will take that off before I install it. But they go on the aft end here, just right where the elevator control rod linkage comes up through the fuselage. And as you can see, there's a cutout in here for those. So the first step will be to, let's see if I can get in closer here where you can see what I'm doing. And I'll take and mark with our magic marker. Just put your finger on the edge of the metal and then draw a reference line. Okay, my marker is not working. Oh, great. Sometimes these magic markers uh, get a little dried up. So you just put your finger on here, go in a quarter of an inch, and follow the seam right along the edge. This is going to be my mark for my rivets that I'm going to be putting in here to hold this plate on the fuselage. So I'll just go down the four edges here again. Uh, quarter of an inch in and mark this line I think my Sanford Sharpie is getting a little bit old it's not wanting to mark too well now if you can see this and I don't know it's hard to tell but I do have my edge distant lines made and I will not be able to place this on the fuselage this one goes on this side and start marking where I'm going to rivet this piece on now as I said this one still has the protective plastic edge on it the covering and you want to make sure to peel this off because if you try to glue your fabric on over it, the MEK and the glue will end up pulling this plastic off. It's there, these, this aluminum is shipped in sheets, eight foot by four foot or larger sheets, and it's there to prevent scratching and stuff like that. And as you can see, it doesn't really do that good a job of preventing scratches. So all I'm gonna do Again, on this piece is the same thing. I'll take my marker here and mark an edge distance. Got to prime the pump on this pen. Just go in a quarter of an inch and mark my rivet line distance all the way around. And there we go. Now, now I'll be able to put this on the fuselage. Get a good location here. Now, along the bottom, I can see where I'm going to take in on this bottom line that I marked and bend that. I'll put that in the in uh, a, my uh, brake and bend that a little bit. And what I'm looking for here is to make sure that as I move the controls in this U shape that it will be clear. But I'm going to go ahead and drill my first hole will allow me to Clico okay. thought I'd grab my Clico pliers and I guess I didn't well this is one of the joys of videotaping you get to see all the mistakes that I make okay somewhere around here is a pair of Clico pliers all over again I guess 
I worked late last night and didn't put my tools away like I should have and this is what happened. So I'm going to take a break here and go find my Cleco pliers. Huh. Well, I did find them. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Take out the Cleco. Go ahead and put that in place. Now, get that lined up. I'm taking drill out right here. Now oh, there's a steel insert in there, so let's move it forward. in my second Clico. And now I can see where on the tube here because this line here which was my first line that I drew I'm going to bend this sheet down at that point so this fits a little more flush in here there won't be such a sharp edge to where I bring my fabric up around. So that means that I'm going to have to move my rivet line up to about here. I'm going to put this pliers in there. So I can go ahead and take this off temporarily. And this line here now becomes my rivet line. Now if I've done this properly I should be able to put this back on here and that line will center on the lingeron where I'm going to be driving the rivet in eventually to hold it in place. And look at that. It centers right exactly on the fuselage line where it needs to be. Now this aft end will have to be trimmed just a hair to accommodate for this piece right there. It's not fitting quite flush and so I'm going to trim that just a little bit. But now I'm ready to make my bend and install the plate.